Hello again, it's Robert here. Welcome back to some more Light Life is Strange. Uh, this is episode 4, part 3. This is part 3 of episode 4, Dark Room. I think we're going to all open up this window for this birdie. Come on, little birdie. Come on. Don't be shy. Fuck. Oh shit. Fly, be free. That better not have like a Oh shit, it better not like remember that fucking plant Lisa? Oh god. That better not happen why I think it's gonna happen. Since David might be in there, I better mosey along for a change. Oh yeah. Definitely mosey along. Oh shit. I'm feeling a bit it itchy, but I feel I'm pretty sure I'm good. Like, 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 like the itch isn't all that isn't all that bad, so oh, excuse me. There's Warren. Uh Okay. Wait, wait. What the fuck? This is going so much. Whoa. Oh, shit. By the way, the driver's still probably buying the ticks now. What's up, man? I got a B plus on my chem text. B plus. That bad thing. Talk to my parents. They pay the bills. You will survive. Let's mourn later. Friend Chloe texts me that I'm out of the loop now. She sounds so hot, so I get why. Chloe texted you? Sure, didn't have her number. I didn't want to go ape with me. You should, you should go with Chloe. She sounds cool enough for you. I have a lot of cool friends like you. Yes, you do. Just my luck. And mine. Said the jet. Talk to you later. Hope so. Whoa. It was like, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> what the fuck? And that was no emoji. <laughs> Nosy daughter. It's from a block number. Damn, Juliet. From East reporter Juliet Watson. What the fuck? Sorry about that. My mom just got back home. <laughs> My butterfly sketch doesn't exist in this timeline. William. Max the time bandit strikes again. Yeah. Oh shit, I just realized I did not have the damn time thing on. Yeah, I think that should be good. William never finished painting that wall. He never did. And just seeing William, like, it's awesome, but. Oh, shit. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Oh! Do we talk to him? What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? 
the hell with Nathan is appreciated best Sean Prescott. Something is up, guys. Hey, Max. I wonder if David is going to the party. I do appreciate you standing up for him. Sure. Anything I can do for you, Max? I... I was just waiting for Chloe to get out of the bathroom so we can go. I owe you one. So I'll pretend what you just said is true, Missy. Excuse me. That's Miss Caulfield. Yes, sir. You and Chloe still better be careful where you wander. There are a lot of dark places in Arcadia Bay. What do you mean by dark places? I can't tell you everything that's going on at Blackwell. And you've seen too much already, so please stay out of this, Max. Too late. I already know way too much. So, do you and Nathan Prescott... That little shit-ass Nathan Prescott is lucky he only got suspended. I don't think luck had anything to do with it. I could have been suspended, too. I didn't have all the evidence at the time. I... I am sorry, Max. Anyway, I think we can both agree it's been a hard week on all of us. Especially poor Kate Marsh. I tried to help Kate. Nobody helped Kate. I tried to help Kate. You did, Max. You saved her life like a hero while I left the goddamn dorm roof wide open. I knew Kate was feeling desperate. You even made it to the roof before me or anybody. I knew Kate was desperate too. So did Mr. Jefferson. That guy is the elitist prick, and I'm off duty, so I can say it at home behind his back. Like when Chloe calls me step douche. These artists live in a fantasy world. Why well, say that? He isn't like this. Yeah, what's with the. What's with Mr. Jefferson, dude? Bruh, what's going on? Why do you say that? These art parts are all about themselves. When I was in the service, I hated the photographers who tried to pose me in their anti-war bullshit. Well, Blackwell Academy is a school for artists, so maybe this isn't the best place for you. I have a family here, Max, and I think Blackwell is the best place for me. Since only I know what's happening. That's why I'm working out the new Blackwell surveillance plan to protect future students so they don't end up like Rachel Amber and Kate Marsh. Although, you're like a walking surveillance system. I appreciate you standing up for me, but I have to be a hard ass and tell you and Chloe to stay the hell out of this. Things are just gonna get more ugly. Chloe and I can take care of ourselves. Now, excuse me, Max. I have to get back to my camera. See, I'm an artist too. <laughs> Damn. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. If there is one. David really did protect Chloe. I'm glad I stuck up for him. Wow. Sorry. Good but thing you dropped the files in oil, so Max. No girls Yuck. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Oh. Hold up. We can go back. Oh, shit. Let's speak to him. I can't tell you. Too late. I already know way too much. Like the fact that you might be working for Sean Prescott. What? Who told you that? Nathan Prescott? That little shit ass is lucky he only got suspended. I don't think luck had anything to do with it. I didn't have all the... So, are you going to tell me why you think I'm working for Sean Prescott? Pan Estates, no. I saw documents that you were hired to do surveillance and security at Pan Estates. God damn. You are a good detective. But I didn't get hired. I gave Sean Prescott an estimate. For my own reasons. Anyway, I think we can both agree it's been... I you did, Max. You even made... I knew... That guy... Why? He's our... Well... I have a... That's... 
Hold up. Okay, I think we should really... Yeah, excuse me. Now, the thing is, the more we go on, like, yeah, David may seem like an asshole, but the more you go on, like, he's... Hey, Max, I do appreciate you standing up for me. Oh, shit. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that walker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Yeah. Oh, shit. For once, I don't have time to search for the code. I need to find a key. Yeah, I wonder how, to be honest. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. All right, let's see what what we what we can find. Maybe we can I give up William, but defend David. Oh, would Chloe hate me if she knew? Oh damn, she would. I just thought thought about that now now that she mentioned it. What the hell are we supposed to? Uh, do. William stuff. There's the gun case. Sorry, but this is my official man cave, so no girls allowed. Ah, oh, the keys to the kingdom. Or at least David's locker. Excuse me, Max. Do not touch one goddamn thing. Come on, Max. Find a way to get David out of his cave. Alright, he doesn't know. You gotta use this time travel the most expensive restaurant in town? David knows how to get on Joyce's good side. Well, damn. Alright, I think I'm probably gonna transition on how the fuck we're yep. gonna... Yep, locked from the other side. We need to find some clues. Joyce really wants David and Chloe to be a family. Alright, I'm probably going to transition for a bit. I don't know if it's going to make the episode longer. Because Life, Life is Strange has always done some shit like this. Tamper. This fuse box looks like a perfect David distraction. We can tamper that. Wait. Okay, I was just making going to unlock the door. I can't let David see me while I snag his keys. Into the ninja. Son of a bitch! I just fixed that fuse box. Miss, somebody fixed the fuse. It's amazing how much drama this living room has seen. Gotcha. Like bitch, what's up? That. <laughs> gotcha, David. It's amazing how much drama this living room has seen. Use the keys, use the keys. I am the key master. Wait, 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 David's still in there, so... Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Whoa. Fuck you out of there. Get the score. Back to Chloe now. Maybe we should get the keys back to David? Sorry, Max. I can't talk and work. Okay. This is getting pretty good. Pretty good, guys. That kind of took a bit. I do appreciate you saying that. Yeah, I know, man. Alright, call for Chloe. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. It's Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus there's some location coordinates. David is a, a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing.
Okay. Yo. We just finessed his ass. So this, this is, is optional. So this was optional to go. Me out. So it's so it's optional to go and see Kate because she can live and die. I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Yep. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh, oh yeah. yes. I'm on it. We're gonna string Nathan by his freaking balls big time. Max. Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it Stupid question if I ask how you're doing. Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping them Aww. for myself. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawing. Aww. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. Yeah, because when you really... If you guys remember at the end of episode 2, Cor Victoria was really crying about so about like something. And we, and we and it was revealed that in Victoria's room, she was there when, at, with Kate at the party. So she must have helped with something with uh, the drugging. And she and she and because of all that, she felt really bad about it because she tried to commit suicide at the end of episode two. So, like Kate tried to commit suicide. So, yeah, yeah. I I I think I kind of saw that coming, judging Victoria's reaction to Kate's suicide. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. All right. I don't think get well is quite apropos. Mm. If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. We got one more day until that damn storm hits in this freaking game. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. Dear Kim, I want to express my deepest wish for a speedy recovery and that Black Blackwell Academy is, is united in prayers for your return. Wow, I know that really ain't it, but I know I know y'all can like look up a freaking game, play. Oh, 
I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. Book? Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. Yeah, I gotta speak to her. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. Nathan. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so that might be a start. You did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? Vortex Club or Prescott Family? Um... Prescott family. Let's go with that. I think his family is totally protecting him. Or worse. I never say this about people, but Max, there's something evil about the Prescotts. They have something to do with death. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. What? I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. Butterfly effect. My girl Kate has got this. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. Warren? I was asking about that. What do you think of uh, Warren? Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. And he's a cutie pie. You know he likes you. So I've heard. He asked me to go to the drive-in, but I turned him down. Oh, really? You guys would be a perfect couple. Kate Marsh, matchmaker. I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. Even angels need angels, Max. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. No. Why would we sit down? What's Max gonna think now? It's amazing to just sit here quiet with Kate again. I don't think I'll ever know how much destiny I'm changing. But whoever said we only have a single fate? Oh, time travel is such a mindfuck. Yeah. Time travel is such a mindfuck. All right then. Because of Kate, we're gonna get that damn number in the hospital. Okay, I think this is where we're gonna end this episode, or not this, not, not, not this episode, because it would have been like a lot longer. Uh, part three of My Life is Strange, episode four, Dark Room, and the part three. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like the video if y'all enjoyed it. Subscribe if y'all want to see more. Comment below what y'all think. And if y'all new to the channel, y'all want to see more, be sure to subscribe for more. And again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see y'all next time. Survivor out.